What up, what up, people? What's poppin'? So check it out, man. I ran across this video, and it made my day. You know what I'm saying? It made my day because there are always people like this. And this dude got what's coming to him. So it's called When a Bully Steps in a Boxing Gym and Challenges the Boxing Coach. All right? We go watch this. Yo, I swear. I have watched this joint like the first time I found it. I watched it at least five or six times. Like I could not stop. It was everything to me and it still is. So I'm going to watch it with y'all and I'm still going to be just as entertained. I can't get enough of this for some reason. I don't know what it is, but I can't get enough of it. So we about to y'all about to check this out with me. I'm going to watch it with y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Freaking, let's go. You think I came down here for no reason? You, think you, I came, here, you came here for a reason. You came here to kick my ass. You came here to kick a coach's ass. Let's go. Oh, Trevor. Don't say that. You think I didn't come down here? You think I drove all this way because I didn't fucking look you up? Or do, or do research on you? I'm not fucking retarded. I don't hope you did do research. Now let's just stop right there, people. My man just said it. He said I'm not effing retarded. Um, I'm not so sure of that, okay? Look at how calm the boxing coach is, you feel me? Look at how entertained he sounds when he, when, when, when he, you know, the dude was like, you know what, I'm here. Hold on. Yeah, so... He's okay. Let's go. He sounds so entertaining. Like okay, let's go. I don't want to kick nobody's ass. I don't want nobody kicking my ass. I want to be trained. <laughs> he said, "Yo, now here's here. This is this is a key phrase. Every one of you should listen for this phrase if you're about to get into a, a, a altercation, an altercation. Okay." If the person you about to get into an altercation with says, I don't want to kick nobody's ass and I want to get my ass kicked. Talk it out. All right. If it's just talk it out because you, you, you just might be in trouble, especially if the dude is calm as hell. And my man got the gloves on on the wrong hand. His thumb is sticking out of the freaking. Look, he laughing. The coach is laughing. <laughs> he knows he's on the wrong hand. He ain't gonna tell him nothing. <laughs> well, you never before. Look at look at. And your your it's your gym. You never had this. <laughs> It's about to go down. Think shit is gay. You never had this before, brother? No, I have not. <laughs> Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Old buddy think he working, too. Look, look, look. If you listen, you can hear him go. E <laughs> listen after the shot. Ooh. Beauty. Ah. 
Oh, he said, oh, that's boxing. So you want to continue. You stepped in the wrong, re- in the wrong gym. So? You can't come to the gym and ask. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, I think come so. <laughs> oh, shit. You know, street attitude is going to get you hurt in the boxing gym. Come on, let's work. Let's fucking work. Come on. Let's work. <laughs> When you whooping somebody ass and you talking at the same time, uh, yo, you whooping somebody ass. That is a different type of ass whooping, yo. He is talking and beating the brakes off of him, yo. Oh my god, yo. Okay, I'll stop stopping it. But we gotta take it back to my favorite part. <laughs> Still talking. What did you box in the streets? What did you box in the streets? Huh? You say you have many fights. Let's work. Hands up because I'm gonna hit you now. Oh you know God. I'm gonna hit you. Hands up. <laughs> Come on, hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Let's go. Yo. This fun, this fun Them body me. shots oh, make you think you about life. Come on, hands up if I hit you. I don't want to hit you. I'll just take a shot if I want to. I don't need to. Keep your hands up. His eyes were closed. Oh. Oh. Where are you going? Yeah, yeah. Time to put you. Oh, you should have called out. You don't want to work. You should have called out. That's it. Man's taking enough of a beat. You can, uh... Six weeks ago, my hips was fucked up. Yo! And I had hip surgery six weeks ago. His hips are jacked up. That's why, if you notice from the beginning, he had, like, a limp when he was walking across the ring to set the time up. Even when he was hopping around, when he, well, yeah, when he was, he was, like, kind of hopping around. Kept getting his position and holding his position, and you know he stick his hand out there to make sure he kept dude kept his distance, and he was guarding low his hips. You know what I'm saying? So because I, I I would I would guess there's still a considerable amount of pain, uh, being the way he was moving <clears throat> in the ring. But yo, you don't go into a gym or a dojo unless you know something yourself and you can hold your own in some type of way you can't yo i i swear to you i swear to you this is not a, this is not a lie this is this is not a lie you may be able to handle yourself in the street against other people that uh 
are in the street as well. When I say in the street, I mean people that have no training whatsoever. People that have no boxer training, no martial arts training, no nothing. All right? You might be able to hold your own. That's one thing. But if you take those same skills and walk your behind into a boxing gym, even bar fight skills, you might have skills in a bar fight. You might be nice. You go in a boxing ring or MMA ring or kickboxing ring or karate, judo, whatever. You go in there and try that. I can guarantee it's not going to go the same. Especially if you challenging the freaking the sensei or the coach or whoever. <clears throat> it's not gonna go the same. It, let me let me matter of fact, let me put it this way. It's not gonna go the same if the person you're challenging who runs the place actually knows what he's doing and is legit. It's not gonna go the same. I can guarantee that shit. This gave me life. It gives me life every time. Every time I watch it, it's like the first time I'm seeing it because I pick up something new. Yo, you have you have got to be my daughter. You have got to be a little off center to think that uh, it's gonna work in your favor. Like this is gonna be a story you can tell your friends. Like yo, man, I went in that boxing. I beat beat shit. Boxing coach. Yeah, you know, I should be my gym, you know. Man, man, man. No, 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 no. You went in there and you got put down a lot. Yo, when I tell you that shot, yo. <laughs> oh my God. Body shots will make you think about your life. Body shots will make you think something has moved from its original position than where it was when I was born. Because. If you get hit, especially a liver shot, whew, yo, you go think about everything you ever did. He wanted to leave that ring. I'm telling you right now. The fact that he had his damn gloves on the wrong hand, priceless. But let me know what y'all thought of that, man. <laughs> Yo, let me know what y'all thought of that, yo. Let me know if let me know if you know of anyone that has done this and let me know what the outcome was. If you know someone, let me know what you think of this particular situation. And also actually to come at it from another angle. Let me know if what you think the coach did was right or wrong, too excessive or not enough. All right? Hit the like button, subscribe button, share button, people. And remember, as always, take care of yourselves and stay safe out there. You know what I mean? Take care of your family, too. As always, I'm out of here.